child gets injured on the school bus. That is the topic tonight of The Law and You. With us as always, attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. Good to see you guys. Four days, you ready? Oh, we're getting ready. Yeah, just about <laughs> there. Before we get to the holiday, though, how about this scenario for a local a girl and her family? Taryn Clark Summit says, my eight-year-old daughter Molly was on the school bus yesterday and was sitting in the second seat. The bus driver slammed on the brakes and she was injured when she hit the front seat. The bus did pick her up 10 minutes late, so I guess he was speeding. What uh, can Tara do here about her daughter's injury? On yeah, the so bus? Tara, <laughs> typically the bus companies are privately owned uh, and then they have a contract with the, with the various school districts. So you can sue the bus company as a result of your daughter's injuries. Now what you're going to have to prove, obviously, is that the driver was speeding uh, and then, you know, was driving you know, haphazardly or negligently or recklessly, uh, which caused him uh, him to slam on the brakes and then your daughter to become injured. Uh, so you can have a cause of action against the against the driver. You didn't tell us what your daughter's injuries were, but it's not going to be, um, you know, I mean, you're, the case is going to be a little involved. So you want to make sure that uh, it's worth pursuing. Yeah, especially there, there was really no impact. They didn't collide yeah. with anything else. And you guess the driver's speeding. So I mean, you, you have to prove it. You just can't guess because you've got to step into a courtroom with 12 jurors and prove a case. Every case that comes through our doors, that's what we have to look at. You just can't say, oh, I guess. We have to be sure, and so do you. So I think, you know, maybe you have to, we have to see if there's any witnesses, any statements from anybody on the bus, any, any passerbys who may have saw, saw something. But at the end of the day, you have the burden to prove your case. And again, it's, it's not a great fact pattern. Um, because your daughter was injured, but at the end of the day, you still have to meet your burden in court. So um, I think it's a tough case. All right, and if you need legal advice or direction, check these guys out online. Give them a call, and don't forget, results matter. Attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli, thanks. thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Dave. PAHomepage.com and the Law New Hotline are there for you.